What's up, people? Welcome back to another Lost Recollection news. This time I'm gonna go over the Tokyo Game Show. So they just finished that, and I'm gonna go over with a bunch of news. So first thing is the demo. The demo is gonna release September 26. Um, that's probably in Jap like Japanese time, and assuming we're getting it on Monday in the U.S., which is the 25th, because we're a day behind. And the demo is allow us to carry the save data over when the actual game comes out. So I'm not sure how many things we can carry over because uh, if the demo is in the very beginning of the game, sure. But if it's later in the game, not sure how that works. But obviously the save data will be carried over and we will get the benefit. They talked about that and the screenshot coming up, uh, I'll, I'll be talking about. This is the sword we will get for the benefit for players who actually played it, the... Um, uh, AL and yeah, it's a Medina sword. It's pretty awesome. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see more once the game comes out. So that's it's not just a skin. So yeah, it's probably just probably the sword. So this is a pretty cool, um, like cool DLC photo. I think that's from DLC. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure because it's like they talk about the DLC one and two and stuff. So it's kind of cool that Kirito in the you know bed scene and. Yeah, that's gonna be the uh, Ritual Bonds of Volume 1, which is the first DLC. And yeah, Mito also gonna be you know, introduced in the uh, in the uh, um, last recollection. So we'll be we'll be getting her. So a lot of people requested to get Mito in the game because she used Scythe, so it would make sense. It's kind of awesome though. Um, I did uh, you know clip some of the gameplays as well um, for Mito. And I think they're gonna release that in Beater's Cafe as well. If you want to watch the high definition one, they you know they um they put out. I usually just clip it uh, on my on my like phone or whatever, and then for the video. And other than that, hey, the biggest the biggest news is Yugi. Obviously, they honestly took a while for them to review. I mean, technically, we already knew she's coming into the game, but now it's it is official. They already shown. You know they shown they shown her in the uh, Tokyo Game Show and stuff. So yeah, we will have her for sure. And her sword is amazing. Like <laughs> the grip is not even tied to the sword. That's like the that's the coolest one of the coolest design that I've seen. So so here is some of the gameplay uh, I'm gonna show for uh, Yugi. It is awesome. And uh, hopefully hopefully we'll have some interesting you know, storylines and stuff because gonna be awesome so obviously she's using one-handed um that sword is amazing um that's like release recollection i guess probably i mean um it's gonna be awesome though that is awesome so they finally reviewed the uh the full image as yugi in the corner yeah it took them a while i mean we already knew she's gonna be in the game but i think they were trying to save it tell the tokyo game show to review her and other than that, that's pretty much it for the, all the uh, stuff I'm going to cover. And demo will be out next week. I'll be excited for that and see how much we can actually explore. Question is, what can we carry over when the actual game comes out? They say the save data will be carried over to the actual game, so no clue. I mean, I don't even know when the demo will take place. If it's in the beginning, yeah, sure, it will make sense if we can carry some of the stuff over. But I think save data for sure. Um, not sure if anything that we farm actually carry over. But other than that, yeah, it's awesome. So they show a good amount of information than, you know, useless Q&As the, for the past long time. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time.